Thank you very much, Mr. Kuhn. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, there, are, there are so many people. I arrived here just yesterday, but there have been so many people that have been extremely, extremely helpful and, and, and nice to me that I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you to first the Alaska World Affairs Council for providing me this opportunity for being with you, and uh, particularly Mr. Brian Davis, the president of the council. Uh, as well as uh, Lisa Falsko, my, my host and executive director. She's been a wonderful person, uh, and it's been really great pleasure working with, with you, Lisa, from the very beginning. And thank you very much for all the accommodation. I'm very grateful. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Ronnie hosted a wonderful dinner last night. We had a very good time at their home with a, with a member of the board of the World Affairs Council. It was a real pleasure to have an opportunity to speak with some of the members of the board of trustee and, and enjoy a wonderful dinner at their place. I'm very much grateful uh, to them, and uh, I had a wonderful time at the Central Medical uh, Middle School um, today, uh, speaking with the kids, uh, and particularly, and the purpose was to, to convey the gratitude of the Afghan people to, for whatever the United States is doing, and particularly to those who have a family member serving in Afghanistan, and to talk to the kids how important it is for, for the mission that their family members are carrying out in Afghanistan. Um, uh, particularly, I met uh, Amber Myers, who served in a PRT in Kandahar, a wonderful person that is uh, trying to help me actually get to the school. I'm very grateful for the presence of the uh, member of the armed forces, particularly the, the Elman uh, Dorf Air Force Base, uh, Fort Richardson, and the member of the Guard of the Alaska. Thank you very much for your interest. I, it's a great pleasure and honor to, to be here in front of you. And um, we have also the Councillor of Canada here that I'm very much grateful. Canada is another important ally of Afghanistan and is helping with us. And uh, what Brian have mentioned actually that uh, to join uh, World Affairs Council, I think it's a very important cause. It's, it's only through the efforts of World Affairs Councils or that it's possible for someone like me to, to come here uh, and, uh, and speak to uh, an audience that otherwise I might not get a chance to address or be with. It's, I think it's a great thing. We are living in a very connected world, and, and to provide for opportunities to build these bridges, to understand what's going on in other parts of the world are very crucial, and uh, the Alaska World Affairs Council is doing a very important job in providing for this opportunity and bringing people together. I will um, speak about, uh, in my, uh, uh, today I'll give you an, an update about the security situation in Afghanistan. I'll talk about the political development, the social changes that have taken place in Afghanistan, uh, briefly about the economic development of the country and the challenges of the post-conflict management, what are some of the serious challenges that we are facing in Afghanistan, and what are our plans to, to overcome. <clears throat> uh, for those of you who you, have been not so familiar with, uh, with Afghanistan and the country, uh, Afghanistan is the size of the state of Texas, roughly. And uh, we have border with China, small border with China, a very long border with Pakistan, another border with Iran. and. And we didn't choose these neighbors. I, by the way, I just want to clarify from <laughs> the very beginning. Uh, we, we, uh, and and uh, Turkmenistan, uh, Tajikistan, and Uzbekistan. So as you can see, uh, it is a pretty rough neighborhood where we live in, uh, in Afghanistan. So, and uh, that is true. And it is rough right now. But in the past, somehow, the destiny of Afghanistan and the Afghan people have been connected with what's taking place in the world. Uh, globally. If you look at back at the history of the Alexander the Great and from the time that, uh, that Afghan emperor actually ruled part of the India or, or the other invaders come through Afghanistan to the recent history of, of the Cold War where the Soviets invaded Afghanistan and you and many other countries helped to come Afghanistan from the global war on terror. Somehow the destiny of Afghanistan, despite being a relatively remote country, has been connected with the world affair. It's an old country, Afghanistan has a history of 5,000 years, and it is, has a very strategic location. It is, Afghanistan is somehow a roundabout of, of Central Asia, the Indian subcontinent, uh, China, and the Middle East. Uh, most of these countries are connected through Afghanistan. And in the past, uh, the Silk Road passed through Afghanistan, which connected in, in uh, different parts of the world, and it was not as a highway for, for, for uh, trade and commerce, but also a highway of, of cultures and civilizations. Many exchanges took place through that location. <clears throat> uh, we, uh, the Afghanistan, despite uh, the challenge that we face right now, is, is rich on many initial resources, including gas, petroleum, coal, and many others. 